Okay. So this is how you would run that ad. So it'd be it'd be coming into your business manager, coming into your ads manager, clicking that green button. Watch, go back real quick, clicking the green button and 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 going engagement and then event responses. That's what it's all about. And so that's why, yeah, what is it? What is an engagement? It's when people click like, comment, share, click the, click the, click the link, like anything, any, any form of touching that post, that's engagement. Okay. And so, yeah. So if I can get a ton of people in a local area to comment and share that post, why not? Yeah. That, that, that would be 10 times better than just posting on my personal page. Yes. And trying to get people on my personal page to know about my event coming up in two weeks. That's a waste of time. Yeah. Right. But when you put a little skin in the game and you actually, yeah, you actually run an ad on it. It's like, yeah, it could be, it could be powerful, okay. but, but that's what you're looking forward to. So you're looking forward to, you are expecting to comment, to reply to comments, to really check that newsfeed, to really make sure that, that people's questions are getting answered in that newsfeed, in that, in that post, I should say in that post. Okay. okay? But that'd be really good. So first, before we even do this, we got to create, we got to create the event. So let's go over to Facebook. Let's um, see on mine, click on that home at the top, go to your newsfeed. On my page, I couldn't find it to the left. Let's see if you see it to the left. Normally you'll see events, see more, ad center. Right here. See, I don't know why I couldn't see mine. Maybe because I have mine hidden. I think in the settings you can, because that's um, a shortcut. I think I, I took that shortcut out. That's what it was. Click events. Okay, yeah, I took mine out because I don't ever do events like this. But, yeah. um, but these are really cool. These are really effective when for sure you run an ad on it and that's what we're going to do so that that's that's where the power comes from so click on that one create new event and all we're going to do is just put in all the de the details you can go online this one's going to be an in person so click on that one and then you just simply fill in the blanks event name date make it make it public um and the host is kara right so and and you can always edit this stuff too. This is not, you know, um, final. Like you can always edit, add 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 the, add the lender's name or whatever you guys want to do. You know, yeah. So put the date, the start time, um, end date, end time. Okay. Yeah. So here you can go private, public, friends. I'd go public for sure. Yeah. Public, yeah. Right. Public. Um, and then you just follow it through. So new home buyer educational event. Um, yeah, hit next and we'll just location. This is where you get super specific. Yeah, this is really cool. Go ahead and you can allow on the top left, click on allow. So they, they, oh. so they can match up the map. Yeah, perfect. Okay, cool. So man, look at that. That's amazing. That's amazing. Crazy. I have to put Texas. Oh uh, yes, location. Yeah, try to put um capital O, um capital. I don't know if it's capital T X, but Odessa. Maybe maybe T, yeah. Spell it out and see if that even brings it. Actually, no. You're already there. The map's already I'm there. There. Perfect. Save. So I want to do just this town, or do I want to do any neighboring towns? Well, the events being held in Odessa. Yeah. So that's the location name. That's the location. So oh, gotcha. Name. That's okay. fine. Actually, no, to tell you the truth, I'd put the, no, you'd put the actual address. Do you know the, the address? The actual address, yes, I yeah, do. Yeah, that goes there. Yeah, that goes there. Awesome. So, okay, so now, now, um, now safe. 99% positive, but, you know, I just want to double check real quick. Four. I'm looking for that drop down. So, so an event is not an, at an address necessarily. Maybe maybe what they're pulling is yeah they're pulling actual places. Okay. Like, like. So just Odessa. Yeah. See if no the actual address for sure. Like. Yeah, that address would be. So do you see it down here? No, I don't. Okay, at keep all. going. Keep going. Because that's the name of the street in Odessa. Okay. Okay, cool. It's that first one then. Is oh, it Homestead like at Park? Homestead at Park yeah, Perfect. Ranch. That's what you want. So go with the program. But Always go. With let me tell you this though. Mm -hmm. And then the description. See, that's where the address can go right there. Okay. Perfect. And then um, you can always you can always have it have 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 something in the title as well. New home buyers educational event 
in Odessa, right? Or it could yeah. be new home buyers educational event dash Aaron Parker, Aaron Parker Road. Okay. Right? That can be in the title as well. Okay. So perfect. So description. Okay, cool. And maybe put, maybe get a little bit more specific. Maybe event will be held at, or event will be held. Like let's, let's really put like a description in there. Okay. Um, options. And so much more Saturday, May 7th at 12 p.m. Located. Perfect. Oops. Locate. There we go. Located at 701, 7001 Aaron Parker, Odessa, Texas. I love it. Perfect. And we can always come in and add more. So sure. hit, hit next and then okay. let's see where it takes us next. So now a cover photo of um, the, cut. The, the flyer won't be, won't be, yeah, it won't work on that one because it won't look right. The dimensions. Oh, I see. Okay. But we can Google something. Open okay. up another tab, op open up another tab and let's just, let's Google, let's Google exactly that. Google, Google, um, happy people at home buyer seminar, happy people at home buyer seminar. And, and you'll be surprised on what we find. Um, and then hit images at the top. See, like we can easily get something cool. See, I like something. That's what I was envisioning. Someone yeah, in the foreground it. with the. Okay. You just want to see any other ones? <laughs> just, whatever, whatever you I, want. I just want to see other options real quick. Yeah. And then we'll like, want to get, maybe see if we can find the, the exact dimension. You can, you can, I mean, you don't have to, but oh, okay. if, if it looks way off, then yeah, at least go to Canva, resize it, if anything. But sometimes it, it plugs in and looks really good, but let's see what it, what it looks like. And for that, it's more of a, of a, um, of a, of a horizontal, like, like a widescreen horizontal watch, go back to Facebook, go back to that group. Look at the, um, so it's asking for a cover photo. So it's that top part, which is rectangle pretty much. Yeah. The cover. No, not to the left. Oh, I'm sorry. It's really, it's really to the right. The cover oh, photo. Oh, oh. I think the cover photo goes at the top, right where the oh, number here? seven is. Yeah, that's the, like a rectangle type of. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm thinking, I'm thinking it goes there. That's the cover photo, but we'll see. We'll see. Gotcha. No, I bet but, you're right. But see, I just saying, don't want something, even though I was envisioning that. Uh, okay, so we're simply grabbing an image, and you don't ever have to worry about copyright infringement or anything like that because no. we're not, we're not selling the image, so. No one's really coming after you for how do anything. I get rid of this picture now? So now um you should be able to hit back on the to the bottom left back. Oh, okay. Yeah. I see. I've got a couple and then just hit, hit next and see if it brings us back. Next. Click on you should be able to just click on it and and what be cool. So try this new one and it's still blurry, but it's still blurry. Um, a little bit still blurry, but you get the idea. Try it. I do. Save it for now. We'll always come back in here and you can find another one. So publish, save publish, draft, event. Publish, publish it. Yeah, publish event. Okay, cool. So now you have a published event out there in cyberspace, out there on Facebook. And and now we can come back and run an ad and get engagement on this on this event. Right. And that's the engagement we want. Like everybody will just simply do this right here and then go and go and hit up all their friends, everyone on their friend list when 90% don't even live in the area. Yeah. That's what will happen. And then they'll go take this link and they'll put it in different Facebook groups. And it's like, man, you're a local business owner. You're, you have an event going on locally, but everyone you're reaching out to is globally or at least across yeah. the country. Yeah. You know, when we're posting different groups or when we're post on, even on our personal pages, yes, you have a handful of friends on there that, you know, but the majority of them are people like Karen, David, who are Facebook friends that aren't even in the same state. Yeah. That makes it, that's the majority of our friends. It's all I'm saying. Sure. So, so in this case, yeah, running the ad is, is the best thing you can do. So, so we, so we have a few more minutes. Let's run this ad. So we just posted it okay. again. You can always come back here in here and add different events. Um, now that event will be in your event section. So your upcoming events, you'll see those to the left. 
and 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 then go ahead and go ahead and, and invite somebody. Why don't you invite that? Getting the getting it set up and then and then doing some basic organic real quick is is not is not bad. Invite someone. Invite maybe. How, how do I do that? Right on the top right. Invite. Oh, okay. Click that button. And then um, see again. That's what th this is. What most will do. Most will come in here and go and freaking invite everyone. It's like I'll get notifications for oh, I hate that. Well, it's not that I hate it. It's just the fact that what I'm saying is that the majority of the people that are viewing this are not even in the area. Yes. So if you if we were to come in here and select all, it's like, yes. dude, David's going to get a notification regarding Kara's event going on in Odessa, Texas, when David is in California. Yes. It's like, what the hell? That's what majority of people do. Yes. And it's like, man, that's, that's why I'm not into events because it's like, man, it's like, yeah. So unless you're running an ad, unless you're running an ad, then that makes more sense. And that's what we're going to do right now. Yes. So, but, but here at least invite maybe someone that's local or maybe someone that might fit that, 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 that ideal client or, or maybe invite the lender. If you're friends with the lender, you know, basic people like that. Yeah. Right. See if you can maybe do a, a few real quick and then, and then all right, these it. are all of the salespeople in that office. Perfect. Perfect. Let them all know what's going on. Yeah. But, but all them bozos, I'm telling you, all they're going to do is go share it with their friend list. They're going to go post it on their business page, the event, the actual link to the event. Of course. When no one freaking cares, when no one is, is, is in that area. So, but that's fine. That's fine. That's but these are the salespeople that are going to be at the event. Cool. So send them an invite and then, okay. and then that's it. And then now we have the event. So now we can come back to the business manager, to the ads manager and run the ad. Okay. okay. So now we can put a few bucks towards this. Go ahead and just close this out, exit out. Let's start from scratch and then just refresh the page. And then um, let's run this ad. So again, my screen looked a little different. My screen was the updated I guess it's the updated, which I don't really like, but it's the updated when you click the green button, go ahead and click your green button. Mine, as I showed you, looks a little different than this. This is the, the, the older way. And I, and I actually love this way because it just shows more. But in this case, with this event, it'll be engagement. So you're going engagement and then you're going to go um, event responses. So, so keep in mind the like ad that was engagement page likes that's going to, to, to everyone, right? That's mm -hmm. the most broad ad. This one here will be post engagement or event response engagement, and we're run, and we're running it locally. But your third ad will be conversions because that's when you would that's when you would start capturing leads. Yes, is is on conversions. Whether you're running an ad for a listing, that's mm -hmm. where we need the cartridge page. Whether you're running an ad for an open house, that's when we'll need the cartridge page. Yes. If you're running an ad to give away a seller guide, that's when we'll need the cartridge page. That's mm -hmm. conversions. So everyone that's online running ads for, for leads or for sales, if you have a website and you're selling necklaces, you're running ads for sales, that's conversions. So okay. leads and sales. So from this point on, every ad, it'll be conversions. Okay. okay. Um, these first two are, are engagement. And really, it's, not, it's no other objective outside of those two, really. Cool. So here, continue. Event responses. Um, and then now we're going into our three steps. Now it's all about... Um, the budget, the targeting, the, the ad, all that good stuff. Here is step one. So we're always going categories and we're always going to hit the drop down. Okay. I'm sorry. Categories yeah, so right here. Yeah, categories, drop down, and then we're going housing. That's right. Okay. So in your case, you're always going housing. And in fact, you know what? I'll also, I would also go credit in, in this case as well. So choose credit. You can choose more than one. Oh, so, okay. um, so in your case, you have, you're bringing up home buying, there's going to be financing involved, right? Questions people are going to have, like, so the whole conversation is, is around those two. So you have to check those two or that ad will get rejected. Okay. Okay. And, um, and then if you're in any of the other ones, if any other, other apply, then yeah, politics, but no, you're just doing those two really. Okay. Um, but in the future, in the future, in the future, when you're only running ads for yourself, for your listing, for your open house, for your seller guide, buyer guide, whatever, and it's only Kara, you only need to go housing. Okay. The only reason why you're going, I'm having you go credit is because this, it's a home buying event and it's, okay. it is, it is actually credit. So that's why I'm having you choose it here. Um, United States, leave that. We're going to, once we get to the, to the second step, we're going to narrow it in and, and, and actually go with Odessa, but here we need United States and that's it. And then hit next. 
So that's, that's step one. Step one is choosing the objective. We did engagement. Step one is choosing the category, the special ad category. We chose housing, right? That's, that's step one. That's step one. This is step two. This is tab two. This is what we see on the dashboard, the tabs, the three tabs. This is tab two, step two, the ad set. So here is where we choose the budget. It's where we choose the targeting um, and the calendar, really, and the placements. So here you can go, you're on daily. So just go ahead and you can bring it back a little bit. You can, you can go minus, yeah, yeah, go left. So you can go 10, nine, eight, you can bring it down to five bucks. In this case, I mean. Well, we're saying that this is gonna run for two, you suggested two weeks, cause that would take us right up to then, um, to the event. Yeah, so. This way people know about it. And at $10 a day versus $5 a day, how much better is my double. reach going to be? D well, double. obviously it's double, but double. I don't yeah, even yeah. know what the reach projection yeah. possibilities are. It'll actually tell it. It'll give us an estimate to the right hand side. So as okay. we plug in the as we plug in the town Odessa, we'll see an estimate an estimated reach to the right. Okay. So um, um, so, so leave it at ten for now, or leave it at five for now. It's totally up to you. Whatever your budget. What I would do is go to lifetime. Go to lifetime. Um, so you lifetime? hit the drop down daily and go to lifetime. So that drop down above the ten dollars. Okay. Oh, daily, okay. yeah. Daily, go to lifetime. So you're always going to want to run it in lifetime, and there's no difference. There's no dollar difference. Bring that dollar back. Thirty three fifty. Bring that all the way back to the left. Yeah, come all the way back. So whatever your budget is, if you were going five bucks a day for the next fourteen days, what is that? So five, five, five times fourteen is what? Five times fourteen seventy. If you're going double that's 140 so if you're going 10 bucks a day right 10 bucks a day times how many days 15 days or 14 um 14 days 14 so that's 140 so 10 bucks a day would be would be 140 and that's what that's what i would do so i'd put that dollar amount there i'd go lifetime and then i'd set the calendar so the calendar is, 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 is the same as daily. So if I go April, if I go April, always start at the next day. So we're at the 22nd. Yes. Go 23rd. You're going to go 23rd and you're going to go 6 a.m. So 23rd, 6 a.m. It's always the next day at 6 a.m. Um, local time. So, so if I took April 23rd to the what, to the, um, yeah, go ahead and pick whatever date is, 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 is the day. So that's from the 23rd to the 7th. There's your $10 a day. It's the same thing, right? So uh -huh. when you do the math, it's the same. I just choose lifetime versus daily budget. Just so Facebook can spend it differently every day. And it's the same dollar amount. Yeah. So 12 a.m., 12 a.m., perfect. So uh, April 23rd to May 7th. Perfect. And then, and then... The end time. So it ends at what time? Or it's, you can go end time or 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 start time of the event. So I did both start time. That's what's when the, the end time? What time is the event? What time is the event? Start? What I put I put 12 o'clock here. It starts at 12. Uh-huh. Perfect. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. And that's it. So lifetime budget. We we go with the calendar, we scroll down, and now we're gonna choose the location. So locations, we're gonna we're gonna edit that locations. And remember with the like ad, we went a bunch of different places, right? With the like ad, hit, hit the X to the United States, hit the X, X that out. Now in this case, now from this point on, we're going local, we're going local. So if you type in Odessa, what I would do is I'd probably, you could type in the actual address for sure. Try that first. You can, you can for sure. And that's what I recommend. I, I, when, when you come, when it comes to Facebook ads for realtors, like your local farm where you're actually trying to farm, go off of an address and let Facebook, because it has to be 15 mile radius minimum. You have to go out 15 miles minimum. There's Aaron Parker Elementary. Yeah, go 15 miles around that elementary. And that would capture probably everyone in that area, right? Um, or would you go, would you go? I, let, let me, I don't. Or take out, take out, take away Aaron Parker and do it again. Um, that doesn't look like our area. These places that are on this map. That's you can always drop a pin. You can always drop a pin as well. Yeah. Yeah, so 
going and again if 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 you go 20 miles see where that takes you you know is that too far for people to travel you know 20 miles yeah no this is good because this yeah. even gets half of midland mm -hmm. it gets all the way up to there's a couple of little towns up here mm -hmm. that definitely yeah and this gets pretty far south before you start getting into more country living so mm -hmm. this is this is good perfect so scroll down you cannot change age that's one thing in housing yep can it change gender? You cannot target or discriminate gender. So, and then, yeah, none of that applies. And then, and then, and then, yeah, detailed targeting doesn't need to be on. Automatic placement, leave it on this. Leave it on this. Well, I'll, I'll teach you more about automatic and manual. Yeah. Actually, you know what? There's really nothing to it. All that is, it is what it is. Automatic is when you let Facebook place the ad, place the, the event yeah. everywhere, all over the placements on Facebook. And to know everywhere there are placements on Facebook, all you gotta do is click on manual. So if you click on manual, you'll see all the different placements on Facebook and even on Instagram. So if you hover over any of these squares, yeah, mm -hmm. hover over all of them. These are all different placements on Facebook that we see ads subconsciously and we don't even realize. Right. These are all different. Is it subconsciously or consciously? Which word is it? Uh, subconsciously. Subconsciously, right? Like we see it subconsciously and we don't even realize yeah. it. Exactly. These are all the different placements. So Facebook, it's all up to you. You can be as specific as you want. You could tell Facebook, hey, man, I only want my ad on this placement or I want my ad all over the damn place. You can yeah. get super specific, right? Okay. So so a lot of times, though, a lot of times leaving it on, on, on automatic and letting Facebook place it everywhere they, mm -hmm. they see fit is, is, always, is always good. But, yeah. but, but even as we go into, into, into local ads for leads, Mm -hmm. we'll start testing manual placements as well. We'll do a few manual placement and we'll see the difference. Okay. Um, like manual placement, for example, click on manual placement. I could tell Facebook, I only want my ad being shown in the newsfeed. Okay. So yeah. I can uncheck everything and only, only leave check that one. I can only leave check that one because me as a consumer, I'm on my newsfeed on my cell phone. I'm on my newsfeed on my computer. That's really where all my attention is, is in the newsfeed. Same with Kara. Our attention is in that newsfeed. Very rarely are we all on these, all these other, other placements of Facebook, unless yeah. we are, we are for sure. Billions of people are for sure. Sure. But, but if, if, you know, if, if I really want to zone in, I could, we could, that's what this you is, got mail. Yeah. you know, you can zone in on one place on Facebook and say, Hey, put all that money towards this one placement. And, and, and a lot of times we do Facebook newsfeed only. So just that check, just that one. And then the marketplace. Yeah. So we'll leave those two checked and uncheck everything. That's manual placement. That's when you're manually doing it and you're telling Facebook where to do it, where to put okay. it, but, but we'll do the top one for now. We'll do the top one for this event. Okay. Event, we'll let Facebook just place it wherever the hell they want. Okay. So, so next, next, that's step two. That was tab two, the ad set level. Um, that was it. And then we come over here to the third one. Um, and this is where we actually choose the ad. So if you, if you click on, on Facebook page, click on that Facebook page there and then choose, choose your page. Okay. And then, and then go ahead and choose your page there. This one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so right here it says, um, and then and then add setup. Go ahead and create ad. Hit that drop down, and then use words. Use Creative Hub. No, it wouldn't be that one. It's we don't got to mess with any of that top part. It's really just this event, this Facebook event right here. Okay. So, um, but we could put the text for sure. But the Facebook event. So go enter your event name or Facebook event URL. So type in the name and see if there's a drop down. And if there's not, then we'll grab the link for the um, for the event. I'm not getting any drop down. Yeah. So let's just simply let's just simply grab the link. So let's go to Facebook. Open up that uh, the other tab up there. Yeah. Grab this link at the top. So in fact, this is um, is this the actual. Yeah, you should be able to grab that link at the top. So go ahead and refresh the page, refresh refresh this page, because you don't need that whole long link. You just need facebook.com forward slash events. You need to copy that entire, you can, all that whole new, you see all those numbers? So, right from, so from the numbers to left, yeah, from the nine, from the nine all the way left, copy that. Yeah, that's that's, I'm pretty sure that's all you need right there. Copy all of that. Perfect. 
copy and see if you can just paste it in over there. There we, there we go. Perfect. Okay, cool. Oh, that's awesome. So hit the okay. drop down. Um, and oh, then, okay. and then what you can do is you, you can, you can put some text. You could put some text. That's the image that will show, which is perfect. Um, but you could put some text at the top. And what I'd probably do is go to, go to your other face, go to the Facebook tab, go to, go back to that event. And maybe the info that you put in the description, free educational event for all new, that could be your, your, what we call ad copy which is the text that could be your ad copy for the ad. You so, got mail. so perfect. So take that to the primary text at the top, paste that in. Where's, in where this do I do that? that? Looks like. um, in this, up, this here? Up, up, no, up, up to the left primary text. Oh, right here. Gotcha. So paste that in. Um, okay. So. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Okay. So, so free educational event for all new home buyers to ask loan questions and down payment options and so much more. Perfect, bring that Saturday, hit enter. Bring that Saturday down um, in the text. Yeah, bring that Saturday, yeah, bring that down. Just hit enter, maybe again. Yeah, that, that's perfect. And then they click on see more. Yeah, perfect, no, that's fine, that's that's perfect. Okay, cool, and then um, and then website, website events, there's your pixel, the green dot. Um, and then hit publish and that's it that's it so nothing else needed if you click the green publish button let me show you what's next that ad will go in review and then you'll get an email in the next i would say next few hours let's see what's missing so scroll back up um right here on this page and yeah, just scroll scroll back up what what else right here do? so unable to create ad for events your facebook must be an event host or co-host to create ads for events okay so try asking the event host or co-host to add your facebook page as a co-host that's what it is okay cool so go to your facebook go to go to the um go to yeah so right here we should go to we should be able to go to the settings where's the um so in this case you ran you set up an event on your business page. So not from your personal profile. We want to do that. it from the business page. Anyway. Is that the right one or no, should No, no, no. Yeah, paste in yours. Just paste, paste in. Paste it in. Okay. It is it is that one, but just paste it in just just in case and then now choose it. That's fine. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Awesome. God forbid we don't want to do that old one. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so we're good. So we got text, we got um the link, proper link website events um down at the bottom page. Bring yep. everything is good so now publish and then now you'll get an email from facebook within the next within the next few hours um saying your your event is scheduled or your ad is scheduled or running so you're good you're good okay so now x out let me show you what it looks like in the news feed so as it goes live we can we could take a, a, a live look at it so uncheck the one selected to the right the blue the one selected I'm X, sorry. X that out in the third tab adds to the very, very right. No, no, no. Very, very right. Yeah. Oh. Okay, cool. Or you can uncheck that box. Yeah, perfect. Now check it again and then click on edit to the below the title. So right here below the title. Yeah, edit. Oh, okay. Here is just what it'll look like in the newsfeed. So if you click on, on share um, in the top right, the drop down, you can view it from Facebook desktop newsfeed. Since we're on desktop, go down to that view. Yeah, Facebook desktop newsfeed. And here it just shows you a real live view. So right below your friend here with the eggs, you'll see yours come up next. So keep going. That's fine. There is the ad. So what I would do is I'd probably take that, take the link and just and just share it um, with your lender and just say, hey, 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 John, I got an ad going out, man. Looking for for a good turnout, you know. Yeah. How like, do I get the link now? What do I click on you it? Could, you can, you can click on share or you could tag them. Are you friends with them on Facebook? Yeah. Tag them, hit the comments and tag them below. Say, Hey, Hey, whatever. Take a look at our newest ad. It's live. Oops. My other thing popped up. Event is now live and running as a Facebook ad targeting 
yeah event is now live and running as a facebook ad targeting odessa or whatever yeah that's a that's a that's a cool way just to and that's that's engagement so engagement is now is now targeting a specific area to get people to comment to get people to like to get people to share because if I come in here and I share the post and I live in that area, yeah, I might have 3,000 friends on my personal Facebook page as well, but I probably have about 200 of them that live in the area. Yeah. Right? So so getting people in that area to share it to their personal friends when they probably have friends in their area on that list as well, that's that's yeah. a good thing. That's worth okay. that, That's worth it. So there goes your ad, Kara. There well, goes your ad. We had a little pickup. Enter that to send that's that it. comment. And that would tag him. And, um, and he would see that, see that ad. Okay. And then he can click on interested. So in this case, the, the, the whole call to action is for people to click on that interested. Yeah. Click on that button. So click on it, click on interested. So that's the whole call to action. So now that, now that, now that person will, will, will get notifications regarding the event. Right. And Which then if me. you click on, yeah. So click on it, go ahead and click on the okay. image. So, so if someone, this image? So, yeah. So if someone clicks on the image, then it actually takes them to the event. Okay. So that's the whole call to action is to get them to click the interested button or to click on the actual image and it, it brings them over to the event okay. and they can, they can get all the information here. So new home buyer educational event. Um, and then the address are the, the date May 7th, 12 PM. Perfect. It's good to go. So are you sure we should have this as, as that's that? why that's why I was thinking maybe in the title, maybe put maybe put um um the ad the address in the title. Yeah, let, let's play around the title real quick. Go into um yeah, let's play around the title. But any questions on the ad, that's that's how you run an, an event response um okay. ad. Okay. Okay, cool.